Okay, so which tattoo do you want? Do you want the bear tattoo or the arrow tattoo? I want this one. Which one? This one. Arrow? Yes. Okay, let's try it. Hi guys, welcome to Be Thrifty 2. My name is Jesenia. In today's video, I have two DIYs for you and one of them is getting tattooed. Let's get started. Alright guys, for this first DIY, I will be using this thrifted glass vase and this beautiful semi-permanent rose tattoo. I will be applying it to the glass just like this. Alright guys, let's talk a little bit about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Momentary Ink. They are a company that offers temporary tattoos for those of you who are not ready to commit. They have a huge variety to choose from. I was actually pretty impressed at how much they had to offer. They also offer the option to customize your tattoo. So if you want a special quote written somewhere on your body, you can have that as well. And these tattoos can last up to five days, guys. So if you are looking to test drive a tattoo, this is the product for you. Momentary Ink offers you 20% off your order when you use my code JCARO. I will have the link listed below, so you go try it today. All right, let's continue with this DIY. I'm figuring out how I'm going to place it so that it looks good. These tattoo decals are very easy to apply, you guys. You just peel off the plastic sheet that is protecting the design, and then you place it gently on the surface that you want to decorate. You do have to make sure that the entire piece is touching the surface. Then you want to place a very wet paper towel over the whole thing. Press down gently and smooth all the bubbles. After 30 seconds or so, you can remove the paper towel and the paper backing on your design and there it is. I know it's not usual to apply a tattoo to anything other than skin, but this is a DIY channel guys, right? I would even try this on a piece of furniture. I like the way the semi-permanent tattoo looks, but I want it to stand out a bit more. So I'm going to paint the inside of the vase in this moss green color. Before I applied the rose design to the glass, I did practice on my daughter's arm. <laughs> she chose this arrow design. I applied it in the same manner using a wet towel. To take the shine away and make the tattoo look more realistic, your order comes with this liquid mattifier. It smells a lot like rubbing alcohol. After your design dries, you apply it to the tattoo by tapping with the tips of your finger like this. And it looks nice. Okay, so here's how the vase turned out. I wanted to use white or red roses in this vase, but I was pressed for time and I couldn't get any. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And also let me know if you would try applying a tattoo to a piece of furniture, a piece of glass like this. I could see it maybe on a plate or a tray or even a piece of artwork. You guys let me know, how would you use this? How creative would you get with this idea? For this next DIY, I will be using this thrifted clock. I got this for $5 at the Goodwill. I actually saw this clock on Pinterest and I think it was listed for like $40, but uh, I only got it for five, so, and it's in perfect condition too. It works really well. I'm just not crazy about the design style. It's not really my taste, but we are going to change that. I didn't save the picture that I found on Pinterest, but if I find it again, I'll put it up here. I'm also going to use these tower blocks for my design of this clock. I'm using some leftover paint to prime it and cover this design and then we are going to paint it in white with some more leftover paint. I'm being careful not to damage the hands on the clock because I'm not removing them. 
I'm really not sure if I can put it back together again anyway, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is and just kind of work around it. This video is part of the Sunday Fun Day Challenge, and this is hosted by Yanni and Diane over at Deco Easy and Trish and Kay from Crafty Cousins Create. I will have the link to their channels as well as the playlist to this challenge down in my description. So when you are done with my video, go check them out. While the paint dries on the clock, we are going to stain the tower blocks. I have two stains that I want to try because I'm not sure which one I like best. But the first one I got from Ollie's for 99 cents. It's got like in a weathered look to it. So I want to try it, see if I like it. The second is this old English wood scratch cover liquid that I've had for years. So we're going to try this one. Here's how they look. I like both of them, but I think I'm going for the darker look. I'm really gravitating towards this one. Which one would you choose? Okay, all the pieces are stained and this is how I want to assemble them. I want them to sort of follow the perimeter of the clock like this. I'm using one of the blocks to keep the glued pieces in place while they dry. I'm using hot glue for the sake of finishing this video on time because I need to upload it pretty soon. But I recommend that you use something a lot stronger like wood glue or E6000 I think would work a lot better because there's no chance of these falling off. Hot glue is not strong enough for this so I do recommend something stronger. Last one in guys. I used a lot more hot glue on the back of the clock to reinforce the wooden blocks. Next, we're going to paint the numbers for our clock, and these are from the Dollar Tree. The toughest part of this project was actually lining up the numbers. I used a measuring tape to find the, the, the cross sections of the clock and place the numbers at equal distance. But since I didn't remove the hands, they prevented me from getting straight flat lines on which to place my numbers. But I played around with it until I was happy with the placement. Lastly, we are going to glue our numbers down using some wood glue. Here's how my clock turned out. Let me know what you guys think. this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time let's keep being thrifty together bye